place we're off to Folkestone this morning. It's a fish off the harbour, a place we've been a couple of times before, particularly at um, this time of year. Not sure what we're going to be looking for, probably some dabs we're hoping for. No doubt there'll be some whiting. Always a chance of a dogfish and uh, a pouting. So I've set myself a target today of five different species. I think the, uh, the baker here has set himself a challenge of 12 dabs, so we'll see how we get on. Well, before you uh, go and fish Folkestone Harbour, you have to come and get your ticket. That's at Folkestone Hangling. Uh, always good in there, they very helpful, all, lots of information. Well, I've just paid £5 for a ticket for us each, so £5 each, but you also need to be a member of the uh, DSAA, which is the uh, Angling Association for Dover. But, um, if you need to come here first, get your ticket before you get down onto the harbour. Don't pay as you as you leave. Okay. I'm gonna do there's a old path up. You've got all excited and run off ahead. In the summer all this place is all open. You know? Get a beer and a burger. Oh, it is open already. Where he's going there? That's it. Oh, it's open. Right. Get on. There we go. Supposed to open at night. It's already open today. Right enough. Oh, he's there. And we're off. No one else fishing. Down here the hive. Down right there the Dover. It's about quarter to nine. High tides are quarter to one. So we're going to fish it all the way up. Fish till about four, I suppose. So, bloody cold. Right, look at that. No one else is, so we've got the knuckle all to ourselves. Most people have got more sense to come out in this cold. <laughs> We're toughening up for Norway. Toughening up for Norway. To come, people, to come. Yeah, still quite low to tide. That's good. By the time I get set up. I'm going flatly bashing today, I'm not doing much else. Like he said, I want a dozen dabs. And he's going for species. Species, five species. We'll show you as they come along. Um, just standard. Uh, any rods will do you, Danny. I don't think the rods are important. But I'll show you my rig. So I've got a two up, boom, 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 boom. boom. Mm. One down below the weight, one above. I've got six ounces on today because it's a big tide. It's not, not running at the minute, but it's going to lay us. So. so that's it. So a longer drop on the bottom. Boom. Short on the top, and that's all I'm using on both rods today. Size uh, size one Aberdeen hooks. We'll have a look at his rigs in a minute when he's set up. It's going to be whiting. It's going to be whiting. Are 
Are you down the wall or out? No, I'm out. I've got around the other side the sun's in. Oh yeah, that that one is. Oh yeah, yeah, he's going as well, see. Fish on! Is it a whiting? Leaving it out. Well, you got a free hook flapper or something. Like that. <laughs> two. Yeah, two. Two at boom rigs, I've got. Well, it's fishy. And sunglasses. Sunnies. Yeah. If I took all this out and snood off, we could actually say it was the summer. <laughs> it's not. Oh, your other was going down as well. Right. On the red one. Fish on by the look of it. First cast, disaster. Oh. It's a whiting. It's a whiting. Oh no. get through these, get to the flatties. Oh, it's not even very big. <laughs> Rubber rod's going. <laughs> you got another whiting on this one. So here we have Whitinus Maximus. Whitened. Look at that. It's a bit small. But it's a dab. And that means you're two species. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Well, all set up and um, had a couple of casts and had uh, three fish on the first two casts, which is very nice. Um, what have we got today? Um, I've got a bit of a mix match today. I've got uh, the jelly. Enigma Magna there, which if you watch the videos of some I've used the Sally rods before, um, I quite like them. Whether they're suitable for here, who knows. But uh, alongside it, I've got something I just weren't trying out really. Um, it's a six piece travel rod, Shimano STC, uh, 14 foot. Um, I've tried it off the beach and had a nice bass on it, I had a 53 centimetre bass with it. Um, but I just thought I'd see how it works on a pier because it's quite stiff actually Rod, because of the amount of spigots I presume and I've got the uh, fixed balls on there of course as, uh, I've struggled with a multiplier and uh, they're both Dan Smith and Shirt uh, 6 I think they are um, and a 6,500 uh, long uh, cast one so Now, I have actually caught a few fish already on the first couple of casts. Jeff hasn't. Well, he's using black plug. Why not? I'm using a grind rag. Now, what I do with this, I put it in some salt water, uh, store it for 24 hours, and then drain it off, pat it dry, and then wrap it up and put it in the freezer. Good way of using up any leftover rag that you've got. The species seem to like it. I've had about five or six species so far. I've had pouting, dab, flounder, bass, dogfish, white in. So, and, uh, yeah, they take most things, but they seem to like it. So, good way of using up anything that you've got left over as well. Meanwhile, just rods are quiet. Actually, so is he, which makes a change. Two things. Oh, 
tiny one. Oh, and they are tiny. Tiny ting. I hope these don't stay around all day. I can see the Admiralty might be on there in a couple of weeks. It'd be nice to get back out on there. They had a painted line on the floor here at the beginning of COVID and you weren't allowed to fish up there, but that line's been taken away now. So I don't know if you're allowed to fish down that end now. Come down. It's got nice spots. That's a place. That's a place. Yeah, look, feel that little bit there. That's a place, yeah. That one's a daff, you've got the sea yeah. around there. And this one, yeah. I feel the little nodules there. Yeah, and see. that tells me it's a place, even though it's got spots anyway. Yeah, pretty little thing. Getting a little bit bigger than the white end, so I mean, this one's about, I don't know, just something about this. 29 30, so something like that. It's getting crazy now. Can't keep a bait in the water more than a couple of minutes. They are getting a better size, but it's just, you can't, you cast out, bash, they're on you. He thinks he's got fish on there. Sorry about the background noise, but uh, it's almost drilling down below us. But, uh, he says he's got fish on. There's plenty of bend in that rod. Good grief. It's a dogfish. Lovely catch, Jeff. Well, it's not the biggest, Jeff. It's but not the biggest, but it is another. I think it's a different species. Well, it's it's that means five now, because yeah. I've had a dogfish. See the lip. Yes, this bottom bit is a bit bigger, isn't it? And protruding lip. And the teeth aren't as quite as bad either. 
That's a easy way of telling them. It would be nice if it was about £10. Oh yeah, that would have been a screamer. But, uh, it was straight down the wall. So five pieces, but you've only had four pieces. 25 centimetres, just over 25 centimetres. And the difference between, don't confuse them with a whitey, look at its bottom jaw. Mm, it's, I think the difference actually, this is, the shape of it's a bit different as well, it's a bit more streamlined isn't it? Probably a bit darker. Oh, I thought something's had a bite out of it at some point in its life. Is that a bite mark? Well, there's teeth marks in it. I didn't do it. Right, yeah, and away! Not as ugly as you. because it's just been too white in every chuck. Uh, we've had a few dabs, half a dozen between us. He's had that little place and he's had two little pollock and I've had a dogfish. But it has been non-stop and you can see now it's going again now. Every cast is uh, one or two white. It's a lovely day, but the wind's coming. Ugh. The wind's got up and that don't look good. Look good. Keep looking this way. So it's an absolute white infest. I've lost count of how many I've had. A long time ago. How many white in your head? Have you been counting? Sorry? How many white in your head? Uh, about 25 to 30 maybe already. Uh, lots. Lots. And now it looks like we're going to get wet. <laughs> So, at the last doors, he's claiming a pouting, which will mean five species. Oh, that's a little pollock, is it, on the bottom? Uh, that, that's a, that, oh, that is really small. That is the smallest pouting you'll ever see. Oh, but it is the five species. But it is five species. <laughs> <laughs> and a little Jackson pollock. Mixed up with, well we must have had 70 white in between us, it's, and it's uh, yeah, one of them days. Well it's taken a little while but he's actually got a double shot there of uh, dabs, actually the top one looks quite nice. Well done boy, I'm not quite 12 but uh, at least he managed to get through the white in. I've had five too, yeah, just, and I've had five species, but that top one looks all right. That's quite nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah well done. Yeah. It took a while to get through them whiting. <laughs> well, we're just leaving Folkestone Clear. Just going past Grand Bursting over there. Out through the car park. We paid for the car park today. Um, I don't know how much it was. £13.60. £13.60. So that's quite an expensive uh, bit. We were there for a good few hours. So, your target of five species, you managed that? I did. And I had a dogfish, so we had six species. Six species in total. I, went, I got me five. My 12 dabs, I was uh, seven short. But I had five. Quite a few pollock today as well, about five or six pollock. Nothing big, biggest about 25 centimetres. But nice to see them, it'll be nice if they grew to about 10 to 15 pounds, that'd be nice. Norway, Norway. <laughs> we'll get that when we go to Norway. So, just leaving now. There's a little shot of the harbour down there. 
That's where we went out over the other side. Off on our travels. And don't forget, if you uh, like what we do, hit like and hit subscribe. Oh.